What's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out the Home Recording Network. Joel and Sebastian here, as usual. Sebastian's passed out on the couch. Uh, today is like the third video of this little saxophone series. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we can take our saxophone sound to the next level. So we went over how to EQ and compress, uh, but we're always looking to get to that next level, make things sound even better. So today I'm going to show you a couple extra things you can do. Okay, so here's what we ended up with after the last video. All right, sounds really good. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is using a little saturation or harmonic distortion. And I've showed this in other videos with Revival and the tape machine, but let's use something different this time. What is going to make this saxophone sound a little bit more exciting? And the answer here is going to be radiator. So radiator from Sound Toys. This is some high-end harmonic distortion, low-end harmonic distortion, and it's just going to saturate the sax tone overall. So let's really drive this sucker, and we'll crank the treble knob. It's going to be too much treble, but I just want you to hear what it sounds like. Yeah, so that sounds really nice, and we only want a little bit of that. So let's take the mix knob down to fully dry, and we'll just bring this up a little bit until we're getting some nice coloration. Okay, so we'll do a before and after, and this is going to be a real subtle difference. But when we're looking to get to the next level... It's not always a crazy change that you hear. It's, it's a lot of little subtle moves that are going to improve the sound of your track. So let's bypass this and we will bring it in. All right, so next, what should we do? We can always clean up a track more with multi-band compression. So that's what we're doing next. So we are going to add my favorite multi-band, the Fab Filter multi-band compressor. And what do we want to do with this? We maybe want to compress some of the harsher frequencies of the sax, some of the cringy frequencies, and then also control the low end. Let's play this saxophone and we'll solo it. And we will add some bands uh, to the frequencies that we want to affect. So the real low end here. And then maybe the 4K area. So let's listen to this. Let's make it real narrow. And for our purposes here, let's just use the default setup here. So pretty fast attack, pretty fast release. So let's play this and adjust the threshold. So we're just getting a little bit of compression here. Multi-band compression is so great because it's just such a transparent type of compression. I mean, we're only compressing these two areas, uh, and this is really helping to, you know, tuck in the low end as well as compress some of the, the harsh area around 4K. Watch again. And 
and we just made our sax tone that much better. Okay, so now let's talk about the effects end. So I just have this going to a reverb and a delay send. So let's check out the reverb first. So what I did here is I just used the Lustrous Plates Reverb, just a preset here, the chrome plate. And what we're doing here is we're just rolling off the high end of the reverb because this makes the reverb sound like it's it's in a big room or further away. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. I do that with mostly all of my reverbs. We don't really need the high end in the reverb. And for delay, you can use anything you want. I have repeater on there and it's using a telephone delay. So it sounds like it's a telephone over a telephone. Yep, just a quarter note delay, nothing special there. So now we'll do a before and after of everything we've done over the last three videos. So I'll bypass all the plugins and effects and I'll bring them in. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.